Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Yakuza 0 with Majima Goro. That was the most ridiculous thing ever. That was seriously the most ridiculous thing ever, like... Give me an arena to fight in. <coughs> hey! You there! Huh? Listen, can I get you to come over here? What's with this weirdo? Rise of the Dragon. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Phew! I'm saved. So, what's your problem? What do you want? What the hell? You... Where the hell are your pants? That's why I called you over. Do me a favor. Can I borrow your pants? Huh? Your pants. The pair you got on now. As you can see, I have my bottom pants taken. Come on, pal. I'm in trouble here. Nuts to that. I give you my pants and I'm the one standing around in skivvies. You take me for a fool? Why this angle, game? Uh, now don't be that way. No self-respecting young fellow with a whole future ahead of him can go out in town with his underwear exposed, right? <laughs> huh? Did you hear me the first time? I give you my pants and I'm the one swaying the breeze here. <sighs> ah, what a waste of time. My fault for Karen. Huh? Hey, hold up. Leave me, leave me your pants. You want them so bad, you can try to rip them off me. Fine, screw it. I'll put your underwear on display for the whole world to see when I jack those pants. I'm sorry, really, I was way out of line. For fuck's sake, what is with you, man? Explain, from the top. I... I'm Toru, and I go to Sonten North High. Just before you came by, I got mugged by the Botan Hunter. Botan Hunter? The hell's that? Uh, well, to put it simply, Botan pants are like school uniform pants, but they got high waist and are super puffy around the thighs. The, um, cool kids wear them. No, I know what a Bontan is. So the Bontan hunter takes guys wearing Bontan and acting bigger than their britches. He beats them up and takes their Bontan as a trophy. So the gist of it is, this guy kicked your ass and left you with your tidy whities on display. Pretty much. There's nothing I could have done about it though. A Bontan hunter this really weird guy. Weird? Like how? There's something messed up about him. Big guy, but likes to jump people from behind and pummel them. And on his back? His back? Oh great, Where? what's the tat? No, he's got his tiny student backpack. A student backpack? Like from elementary school? See what I mean? He's just messed up in the head. You try getting jumped by someone that loopy, it's just flat out scary, man. He's been going at it every day, too. Way things are going, there's gotta be more victims going pantsless around here. Well... Now, I'm one story richer in the shit ton of time the poor. That's This is all good... Can I speak? This soul's got nothing to do with me. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Please, you can't leave me here like this. Can you get my pants back for me? They say shows up near Ma Magu Magutako a lot. The bastard's tough, but I bet you can take him. My bontan's as good as back with you on the hunt for the hunter. Please? <sighs> can't think of any good reason why I would want to help your sorry ass. Forget you saw me. Oh, but, but this backpack token guy, gotta admit, it's kinda intriguing. He does his hunting your ma magutako, huh? Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Absolutely, buddy. Nice bota you got there. I'll be taking those bota. You talking to me? Maybe you need glasses, cause these pants ain't bonta. This here's what you call a tuxedo. Stop talking like I care. Just drop your pants. You're the bontan hunter I hear about, huh? Got the school backpack and everything. Wanna tell me what your deal is? You don't wanna take them off, I'll help you do it. Huh. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Uh, peeling's better than stealing. I'm sorry, I'm just starting out my controller. Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Not exactly the reasonable type, huh? You made your choice. I'm gonna have fun ripping those pants off ya. Pretty, but it got the job done. What the hell? I lost this one eyed chump. Got it added to ya. You ain't half bad. But what's up with the get go with the get up, huh? Oh my gosh, it's Ryuji kun and he's down. Oh, you're right. Huh? We're sorry. Please leave him alone. Please, please let him go. Ryuji kun was doing this for us. Oh, for crying out loud. What now? <sighs> He's got some nerve falling asleep after all that. But you're telling me a brute this size is still in elementary Hi. school? Yep, Ryuji Queen's a classmate of ours. He's always been like this, right? Mm. Yeah, a school backpack never ever looked right on him. So you've got a sixth grade Hulk ripping the Bontan off a high school jerk twice his age? Those guys must be double sorry when I gotta explain it. But you said he was hunting down Bontan for you guys. Care to explain what that's all about? Yuji-kun is probably getting revenge for us on the delinquent kids, kids of South and North High. He really scummy. me. They beat up kids our age, take our money and threaten us so we don't tell grown-ups. We hate them. So you're saying Yuji-kun there took it upon himself to take your fight to them? Hi. Yeah, but we don't deserve what Yuji-kun did for us. Why is that? Because we shunned Ryuji kun for a long time, but even then he went and did this for us. Okay, back it up. What made you guys shun him? I mean, the kid's downright intimidating, I'll give you that one. He's Ryuji kuns dad. He's a Yakuza. Yakuza, huh. Alright. When we were little, we all played together. But when our parents found out about Ryuji kuns dad, they said we couldn't play with him anymore. Now Ryuji Kun's all by himself at school. Even the teachers are all careful and polite around him, like they're scared. So he's the son of a Yakuza. There's gotta be plenty of those around here. Why is this such a big deal? Because Ryuji Kun's dad isn't a regular Yakuza. He's like some big shot in Omi Alliance. That's why everyone's scared of him. 
Huh, I'm starting to see the big picture now. After all we did to ignore Yujiko, he went out looking to even the score for us. We don't deserve anything he's done for us. We suck. Hey, what are you blabbing to this guy for? Ryujiko, Ryujiko, you're awake? Huh, I ain't doing this for you. Huh? I just can't stand those sotne- No, Jesus. Those sotne north punk asses walking around like they own the place. Uh-uh, you're lying, Ryujiko. I saw you get all pissed off when you heard those jerks were picking on some of the girls in our class. Shut up! I said it ain't why. Ryujiko, I'm sorry. We're sorry. We won't ignore you anymore. Please, can you forgive us for the way we treated you? I told you that ain't got anything to do with it. I seriously can't stand those Sota and North pussies. They made it to the high school, but there's not a one of them that can actually fight. Bunch of losers. Except you, one-eyed guy. You beat me up like I'm just some punk Boy. kid. What do you mean? Other than being built like a bulldozer, you are just a punk kid, you know? Yeah, but dude, you're as tough as my old man. You sure you're still in high school? <sighs> you're still going on about that? I told you, this ain't no bon ton. I don't give two shits about it. I decided I'm gonna be a bigger band than my dad. Ain't no way I can accept losing to some stranger off the street. Sounds like a personal problem. I ain't forgetting your face, bro. Next time I see ya, I'm taking your bon ton. Screw any other bon ton. I won't rest until I rip those pants off your ass. Hey, don't shout crazy shit, I'll turn heads. Whatever, I ain't got time for kitty games. I'm out. You kids got this? Yeah, we'll make sure Yuji can be okay. Oh, wait, this pair of bontan pants Yuji had, what will he do with them? Who cares? Chuck them. The guy wearing them was an ass. Mister, can you return these pants to the guy who owned them? If we do it, he might beat us up. Fine, fine. I'll do that if I happen across him. You will? Thank you. Some kid this turned out to be. Oh well, guess I gotta help out his buddies. I'll go give him these pants back to that pantsless punk. What the fuck? Huh? Oh, you're that guy. Oh, right, the fellow at this boat town taken by Ryuji. Well, I'm here. I suppose holding on to his pants now would just be cruel. <laughs> oh, yes, this is it. My boat town pants. Thanks so much. Was that guy near Ma Magutako, oh. like I said? Yeah, the punk tried to jump in for my pants, too. I ended up being asked to get those pants oh. back to you. Uh... You wouldn't even wear your bone town, but he jumped you anyway? Forget it, not a story worth repeating anyway. See ya. Well, thanks for your help. I gotta go too. Gonna round up some buddies and find that punk. We all got accounts to settle. Okay. What? Come on now, I can't take this lying down. My pride's been wounded. If I round up all my buddies in town, even that guy won't stand a chance. I gotta beat him to lay on that hamped up punk. Gotta run. Boy. Hey! That kid's in trouble now. With all the punks in town descending on him, even he's gonna be in deep. Ain't gonna be pretty, that's for sure. Oh well, better go see what's going on around Magotako. Oh! That Bontan Hunter kid should be around here. Might already be too late to help him though. What the? What's going on here? You did this by yourself? Huh, just a bunch of mooks. Don't matter how big a swarm they make, they're still worthless. Man, what a waste of time. I gotta get home. Got math drills for homework. K hey, what's your name? Ryuji Goda. Yeah, Goda Ryuji. He's a monster. A real monster. Huh, <laughs> there's a dragon in the making. Okay, Ryuji, like Ryu, is dragon. That's why he said that. The way you're going, uh, or pass my cross again, Godar Yuji. Rise of the Dragon. Alright, and with that, I am actually gonna end the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.